Hello everyone, welcome here. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to create a table using Azure Data Studio. So let's quickly initiate the steps. So previous lecture, we have created a student database using this command dot perfectly we know. So connect to the local host server once again, SA123. If you are already connected, there is a no require again and to again. Yes. So the local host server is connected and if you want to see the database which is uh, here itself to connect which is the database is uh, available or not see student db is showing here now by pressing the selecting the student db and by pressing the new query you will get like uh, by clicking the new query you will get a new window okay if it is required you can take and now you need to whenever you are performing an sql queries you need to select concern database strongly you should strongly remember the database connection you need to establish with the concern database only otherwise the queries may go to any other database and you may see the error messages okay now let's quickly see how we are going to like uh, creating a table using sql script now just simply see an option i'm going to like uh, first our objective is uh, like a comment line in in the here it is in a two dot iphone iphone space you can write something it will be treated as comment line so create a new table is our object which is the table name is students okay in a with a schema in a schema of dbo which is called database objects by default microsoft sql server is having this dbo schema object if you want any custom uh, schema object yes custom schema objects okay and first what we will do here by defaultly at the beginning whenever creating a new table then only you need to drop a table which is a name which is already exist if you don't know if it is exist you can check with by writing the query or else you can also check with your uh, select star from the table name yes if not found you can create the table so drop the table if it already exist okay so what is the query for this what i am trying to write in here if object object id yeah select this object id option and inside you can choose like a dbo dot student yeah dbo dot student space comma with the letter of u with the letter object you can send with the u is uh, not null is not null okay if it is is not null then what you need to perform in a command uh, drop student tab yes drop table student stu de nt terminate with sorry with the schema of dbo dot okay drop now go now click the go what we need to do now we are verifying existing table if it is available okay if it is there it will be dropped with the name of student so now create the table in the specified schema yeah specified schema so using create command we know create table uh, dbo dot stu dent student okay and here we can write the columns as our wish so i can give student id int integer and uh, not null i am applying for this column there is a no empty for this column n u l l yes not null and uh, i am also giving that uh, this key is a primary key constraint also i am adding for this column which is a primary key not null constraint is applied all right this is a comment line not null key also it is applied 
and name of the student and uh, where care see my intelligence how it is applying for it 100 characters I'm taking and uh, this is also for uh, without a name uh, how we can treat the student so not null and uh, location location where he is available so where care also i am taking uh, some hundred characters for the location if we require to not null we can put otherwise not required maybe location available or not we don't know so the email so again here also i am taking like uh, uh, n where care yes n where care so 100 yes uh, if you are taken anywhere care like uh, it will be treated as a neutral language so anywhere care column data type you may choose and write the program so once last column is not required comma strongly remember the existing columns we have put the comma so the last column is not required so here what you need to do uh, how the query is going to be terminated that way you need to terminate the query with the semicolon here okay so this is the create table and if it is there any existing table is there with the name of the student it will verify and drop it drop is nothing but delete and all you need to select for the student to database only where which database you are going to creating or altering or querying using this window like a query editor so you need to write the schema in this way for any table any of the database table and uh, which are the columns you need to write with the data type and uh, the type of uh, data size length you can add by putting the comma and write the name data type name data type and just click on run the query that's it your table will be created and also we have shown you like how we can set the foreign key references and all for this course yes you may find you, you just fix the relational database settings okay now just run the query yeah selected query total execution time it is taken the query is executed successfully so what i will see here just go to the database and refresh and go to tables expand it see wow the database table and the columns are created successfully what a great how simply we are creating our database tables so see it's very very important whenever you are doing some changes in your database using the queries you come back to the database and select the database right click and refresh it's nothing but reloading the database so expand where you are done the changes and apply the columns are created and you may find the keys yes like one primary key we have set for the student id we have seen here so how beautifully we are setting the things in the next lecture, we'll see how we are going to insert in the data using Azure Data Studio. I'll see you there using the queries. If you are using to, to writing the, the basic, basic queries, you will be by understanding and knowing and uh, clear with the basic understandings, you will be on master in SQL. I'll see you soon. Thank you.